It's Dr. Yazdan. Imagine this happening to your scalp. This is a big deal. Um, this is called alopecia areata. It is a condition where your body is essentially attacking the hair follicles and damaging them. Now, the interesting story is a lot of doctors don't really treat these properly. This patient came to us today. She initially broke out with a small lesion. It usually starts very small. Hers was smaller than the size of a quarter uh, in March. She went to her dermatologist and her dermatologist decided to try topical creams for this lesion. Now, patients that come to us, we're very aggressive with these treatments because I don't want this happening to my patients. But some people cannot make the argument, well, we can try topical steroids and um, sometimes that will work. Well, the patient went back to the derm about four weeks later and her complaint was that the lesion got bigger and worse and it's not getting better. At that point, this should be properly treated because now you have a patient telling you that the steroid creams didn't work and we need we need to, to do something else and that wasn't done. So as time went on, this got bigger and bigger and bigger. The patient found us, she came to us. I have a specific protocol for uh, treating these alopecia areata lesions and we get really good results with them. But the key is to be very aggressive with them because you can have one of these, you can also have three or four of these, they can also affect your eyebrows, so it can be pretty disfiguring. Now, what's also important to understand is you we don't really hair, do hair transplants into these, uh, definitely not acutely. So if this doesn't grow back and this stays the way that it is, I generally don't like to do hair transplants in alopecia areata lesions because that hair transplant surgery can bring about new lesions. Uh, and I don't like to take that risk with patients. So the best way is if you guys have something like this growing on your scalp, it's usually very quick, it happens fast. You need to get in with the proper doctor and be seen and treated properly uh, initially. Otherwise, things can get this big. This is our patient. He has alopecia areata and he had the same story, was seen by some doctors, uh, I believe didn't have proper treatment and came and saw me. When I saw him, his hair looked like this. There was really no follicles showing through here when I looked at it under a, like a microscopic exam. Um, I started our treatment protocol for him and this is actually his results four weeks later. So this is just four weeks after starting treatments with us. You can see that he's starting to get hair growth back into the lesion. And more importantly, it stopped it from getting bigger because a lot of times, you know, it starts small. Here's where you see them. And if it's not managed properly, it can be, you know, all the way over here. So it, it can get double the size of what you're seeing in this photo, especially in a lesion that's growing. A lot of times these just, you know, start small and go away on their own. But once they start to get this big, they don't usually go away completely on their own. They need to be treated properly. And once proper treatment is started, this is what you can start to expect generally for patients. Um, and this is gonna get a lot better. So my protocol is about a three month treatment plan. And once our patient is done, hopefully I'll be able to take some photos and do an update for you guys to see. But what I want you guys to understand is if this starts happening to your scalp, you need to get in with the right doctor and that doctor needs to know what they're doing and they need to be aggressive with the treatment because if they're not, you'll basically be like our patient that we saw today. Um, the lesion gets bigger, it gets worse, and now it becomes a lot harder to fix. If you guys have questions for us, reach out to us. We'll be happy to help if you have alopecia areata lesions and you guys wanna get the right treatments, reach out to my office and I'm happy to see you guys. Thanks for watching.